guys, it's Audrey, and today I am doing my very first rainbow loom or rubber band bracelet video. It, it, it doesn't really matter what you call them. I call them rainbow loom. Anything like that really does work. So a lot of you have been wondering how to make them or if I could do a video on how to make them and stuff like that. So on one of my recent toy hunts, this is only at Toys R Us by the way, I went and got a Monster High little rainbow loom set. It comes with 300 rubber bands, three charms, and um, how many clips? Uh, 12 little S clips. Those are S clips, by the way, and then there's like C clips and then stuff like that. But the S clips are my favorite. So I just already grabbed my own S clip. And then, um, I'm gonna be doing it with my fingers, not with the board. Um, but instead of using my thumb, sometimes I'm gonna be using this. So. I think I will open this up really quick and then show you the charms. And then I will get started on the bracelet. And I'll really quick, in the beginning, before I actually get really onto the bracelet, I will show you how to start it. And then at the end, I'll show you how to finish it. But this is like a super, super simple way. Like really simple. My friend Kelly actually taught me how to do it. Okay, so the S clips are right here. And then we got the 300 rubber bands. We got pink, blue, and black. Cool colors. So I'm gonna be making for this band, or this bracelet. Why did I say band? This is so weird. Um, I'm gonna be making this bracelet for my friend, my second grade friend, Annie. Because she's into Monster High as well and I thought it would be nice to do that. Here are the three charms. We got the Skelette, we got the logo, and we've got Dracula's little lips. There we go, there's the lips. There. Okay, well, I'm just gonna finish opening this stuff up and then I'll get started. So now I'm going to make the bracelet and I've decided the pattern. It will be blue, blue pink, um, I'm gonna do three blues and then three pinks and three blacks. That's what I've decided. So if you wanna learn how to start it out, what I do, cause I used to have problems when I just went like that and then started putting them on. I had a lot of problems, so I'm gonna do twist it like that. I'm gonna grab my next one. You gotta have three up here. That's how I do it. Where I make, see, you go like that. And then this you only do, you only twist these ones when you're just beginning. And then I pull this bottom one, put it over the other ones. And that's what you keep on doing. And then you might have to be scooting them down every once in a while because they start going up. So next is pink. So then I would put this one up here. And then I would put the bottom one over it. See, and then I will start forming the bracelet. But see, I'm not twisting anymore. Because you only do that in the beginning. See, it's starting to form the bracelet right here. Then one more pink. Then you pull, and see, it's starting to form it. So now, I'm going to go finish the rest of the bracelet, and then at the end, I'll just show you how to end it and how to put charms on. Also, I just remembered to tell you guys something. Um, if you do um, accidentally put like too many colors, like one time I accidentally put four blues instead of three. So pretend I'm putting on four blues accidentally and I put a band over it. I go, uh oh, I just realized I put on too many blues. So then the band you just had, 
what you do is you pull it and then you pull it back to where it was. And then you can pull this band off. Also, you can do this with pencils if you don't want to hurt your fingers that much. Because sometimes it does kind of hurt a little, but not too much. You just gotta get used to it. Besides, these ones are the super stretchy kind. Some of them are like really tight on your fingers and those are the ones you would want to use this for, the hook, and you would want to use pencils for. And I'll really quick show you how to use the hook with fingers. Um, let me really quick. So you could use the hook, you could, see the rubber bands, yeah, you could, pink one will come off my finger and put it on the hook and then what you could do is you would slide it on your fingers like that but i personally think it's harder than using your thumb and then you would reach under with the hook instead of using your thumb yeah i personally think this is a little harder but just in case Um, by the way, you guys, I'm going over two. You can also put on four rubber bands and then pull the bottom one and put it over three and then it'll look a little more tight. Uh, or you can just do where you put it over one. So you put only two on here and then like you take this one and then you put it over. Um, I made another bracelet. Well, my friend Kelly made me this bracelet. And this is just over one. It's super stretchy because she uses super stretchy bands. But here it is so far. Mm -hmm. By the way, you guys, I did make this necklace. It was actually just gonna be a bracelet. And <laughs> I made it a little too big. But it has the My Little Pony logo charm on it. Last one. And then here's how you end it. So I still have my three on here. So I pull the bottom one and then you pull the bottom one again. And then see you have just these two. So you pull this one onto one finger. Then you get your clip. You put whatever end it can slip through. Put it through both rubber bands. You can see you have connected and then you connect it to the other side. This is a super stretchy material, by the way. This one is, at least. To expand to go around my wrist. And then finally, putting on charms is pretty easy. The three charms on it and all the awesome colors and then really quick on my other arm because I don't have any bracelets on this one except for my self manager bracelets by the way some of you have been asking what these green bracelets are I have one on each arm um, one of this one's from last year it still fits me 
this one's from this year. Um, but we do like the self entry thing. And so here it is on her wrist. So I'm gonna give this to her and I hope she likes it. Um, but that is pretty much it for this tutorial, tutorial, you guys. I will be doing more of these. I will be doing a My Little Pony one as well because there is a My Little Pony one. As you saw, I have the charm on. But that is pretty much it for this tutorial, you guys. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.